Ayan, we're back for the next lesson. Uh, mechanics, of ma mechanics of deformable body. So, last lesson ay pinag-aral na natin yung hanggang sa torsion. So, before we proceed, uh, flexural bending and shear, uh, uh, flexural bending and shear, we will, uh, ang tawag dito, uh, tatapusin lang natin tong Ah, uh, isa pang topic doon sa kasama doon sa mahuli. Ito yung helical spring. Helical spring. So, the word self is spring. So, ang pag-aaral natin is all about spring. So, meron tayong formula na given. So, maximum shear stress uh, S so S is equal to 16 PR over pi d raised to 3. 1 PT 1 plus d over 4 R. Where P is equal to the load on the spring, R is equal to the mean radius of the spring, D is equal to the diameter of the wire, and then another uh, formula is for deformation or deflection of spring. So, ito yun. so Y is equal to 64 PR cube N over GD raised to 4. So, where N is equal to the number of turns and G is the modulus of rigidity. So, yun lang. So, proceed na tayo agad sa example. Example number 15. So, a rigid plate of negligible mass rests on a spring system consisting of 5 vertical springs. So, 4 identical outer springs in a square formation with a bigger spring at the center. So, the central spring is 7 mm shorter than the outer springs. Each of the outer springs consists of 18 turns of 12 mm wire on a mean diameter of 100 mm. So, the central spring has 24 turns of 20 mm wire on a, di on a mean diameter of 150 mm. So, a load P is equal to 5 kN is now applied to the plate. So, G will be equal to 83 GPA. So, number 1, find or determine the load carried by the central spring. Number 2, find the maximum shearing stress on the central spring. And number 3, calculate the deformation on the outer spring. So, i-ano mo lang, i-ano mo na lang natin. So, i-enumerate natin yung mga given. So, ito yung mga given. M is equal to 18. For the outer springs, ito yung mga given nila. Equals to 18 turns. P is equal to 12 mm diameter. And the radius R, the bigger R, means, uh, ano ba to? 50 millimeters, meaning ito yung diameter nung uh, spring na na-form. So, yung diameter, uh, ito yung radius pala na spring na na-form. So, yung D na makikita mo dyan na 12 millimeters is yung diameter nung wire. Okay? Next is uh, yung ating para sa central spring. spring. So, sa ang N non or the number of turns is 24. D is equal to 20 millimeters and the radius is equal to 75 millimeters. So, meron na kayong mga given, binigay naman na yan. Kailangan natin i-illustrate para mas maintindihan natin yung problem. So, nil nilagay dyan na there is a, uh, ano ba? So, merong plate. Yan. So, merong plate na nakalagay na nakapatong sa limang springs. So, yung apat is identical from each side of the plate, of the square plate. And then, yung pinakamalaking spring is nasa gitna, which is 7 mm shorter. So, ganito yung itsura niya kapag ipapakita mo siya sa top view. And then, makikita mo dyan, dito yung P. Lalagyan mo daw ng load P dyan, which is 5 kN. And then, this is the 7 mm, because the central spring, the spring is 7 mm shorter than the outer springs. Okay? Yan. And then, dito mo ma, ano, makikita. Dahil meron kang load P na nilagay dyan, meron kang load P, which is magbibigay sa'yo ng deflection dun sa springs natin. So, hindi natin sure if ever, uh, hindi natin sure kung gaano kalaki yung magiging deflection niya. So, let us assume na it is, the deflection on the springs is greater than 7 mm. So, kapag greater than 7 mm ang ating deflection, meaning nun, ito yung ating deflection or deformation sa central spring. And then, 
Ito naman yung deflection or deformation sa outer springs. So, bakit naging ganyan? Bakit naging pantay sila? So, tatandaan na kapag uh, having greater load means uh, mas, malaki yung, mas malaki yung deflection na ibibigay. So, if ever uh, pumantay na yung ating, yung ating deflection is pagpapantay siya sa lahat ng sa lahat ng springs na nakalagay diyan si Pepper. Pag sumabra na siya sa 7 mm. Ngayon lang yan. So okay. Saan na gets niyo sa sabi ko ha. So for the formula or the solution. So una ay nating makikita mo diyan si Panigurado is meron kang uh, ano ba dito? Yung force. Hindi ko siya nailagay kanina. So, merong force dito. Ah, force siya ng outer I don't know is if it is PO. So, kung this is 2 PO and this one is uh, PC. Wala. PC kasi central spring. So, I wrote 2 PO kasi dalawang spring itong nandito. Yung nasa dito sa A sa harapan, tapos meron pang nasa likod niya. And then, dito is 2PC again. Ah, uh, 2PO, I mean. 2PO ulit to. So, 2PO na naman yun. So, kapag makikita nyo, pwede kayo mag FDD. Free body diagram. So, makakakita kayo dyan ng makakano kayo ng isang equation. So, summation forces vertical by F. Summation forces vertical is equal to 0. That means, so, 5,000. That 5,000 there is the load P, which is 5 kilonewtons. Kinonvert ko lang siya into newton. So, 5,000 is equal to 2PO and 2PO, that's 4PO, plus PC. That will be your, uh, teka lang. That will be your equation number 1. And then, saan yung pakukunin yung sabang equation? Siyempre, dun sa pagkuha ng deflection in terms of uh, the characteristics of the spring, okay? So, from deformation, deformation of the spring, so ito yun, y sub o, so yung y sub o natin, makikita mo dito, y sub o is equal to yc, or the deflection, or deformation of the center spring, plus 7 mm, so, makikita mo dyan, deflection at o is equal to deflection at c, plus 7 mm, okay? Then, uh, ilagay mo yung Ano, formula ng deflection due to spring. Okay, 64 PR cube 10 over GB raised to 4 in terms of the outer spring is equal to 64 PR cube N over GB raised to 4 sa central spring plus 7. So, ano mo lang, salpak mo lang yung mga given. So, P is PO R is Outers, outer yan. So, the outer one is this one. Outer. So, R is 50. N is 18. G is 83,000. And D is 12. And then, dito, P, C. R is 75. N is 24. G is 83,000. D is 20 millimeters. So, salt mo natin. So, kung makikita nyo, meron na kayong P, O, and P, C. So, if ever makita nyo na yan, pwede na kayong mag- uh, calculator dyan. Or uh, linear equations. Okay? So, 5,000 is equal two equations, two unknowns. Tama ba? So, if ever may two equations na kayo, may, may two unknowns kayo, kailangan nyo ng two equations. Diba? Kanya yung rule natin. So, simplify. PO will be equal to 900.04 newtons and PC is equal to 1399.83 newtons. Okay? That will be your final answer. Uh, Eh, hindi ko alam, hindi pala siya hinahanap both. So, ang hinahanap lang sa number 1 is the load carried by the central spring. So, PO is 900.04 newtons. And the next, okay, find the maximum shearing stress on the central spring. So, central spring yung hinahanapan natin. Gagamitin lang natin is yung mga para sa central spring. Ito lang. So, 16 P900 uh, I mean, 1399.83 Central spring tayo. So, 1399.83 yung gagamitin natin. R is 75. D is 20. 
then 1 plus D is 20 ulit, and then R is 75. Simplify, yan, simplify, it will give you an answer of 71.29 MPa. That will be your final answer. Yan lang. So, number 3, calculate the deformation on the outer spin. So, give it, given the formula for deformation on, of the spin, yan, y sub o is equal to 64 pr cube n over gd raised to 4. So, ang gagamitin mo dahil outer ang, nahanap, ang hinahanapan ng, ng deformation is itong kanyang mga ano, so characteristics yung mga given niya. So, p is equal to 900.04, r is 50, n is 18, g is 83,000, 83, and d is 12. So, yun. Salba ko lang lahat dyan. And then, final answer, 75.30 millimeters. Okay? Ganyan lang. Madali lang. So, next. Example number 16. In the figure, the spring with a... <coughs> excuse me. The spring with a spring constant of 10.2 kN per meter is subjected to an initial tension of 200 newtons. So, two forces P are applied at points B and D of the wires and directed away from each other until B and D are at their point 16 meters apart. So, ito yung mga kailangan hanapin. So, ito yung kanyang itsura. So, sabi niya sa problem is, meron kang two forces P na mag-a-apply dito sa B and D para mag-stretch. So, yung force ko. So, mag-stretch tong points B and D magiging 0.6 meters apart silang dalawa. So, uh, dahil walang sinabi dyan, uh, i-assume natin na yung two forces dyan are equal. Okay? Meaning, dun sa 0.60 meters apart na yan, magiging uh, 0.30 dito and then 0.30 dito. So, i-illustrate natin yung final condition niya or yung final formation niya due to the applied forces. So, magiging ganyan yung tura niya. Mahihila yung spring natin. Yan, mahihila tong spring. And then, dito sa part na to is, uh, maano siya, mababatak siya dito. Nabatak siya sa part na to. Yan. And then, B and D will be 0 0.60 meters apart. So, in nga natin na the two forces are equal. Meaning, the, ano ba to? The distance between B and the center here will be 0 0.30 and D and the center here will be 0 0.30 also. Ganun lang. So, meaning 0 0.50, 0 0.30. Then, ano pa? Kailangan. So, to makikita natin dito ang ating uh, change in the distance. So, yan. Meron kang makikita ang distance dyan. Change in distance dun sa spring. Okay. And then, makikita mo dito, lalagyan din natin, kailangan din natin ito mamaya. This will be 0 0.4 meters and 0 0.4 meters apart. So, kanina, from 10 meters, uh, 0 0.1 meter, ayan, and then, that's 1 meter pala, 1 meter, naging 0 0.8 meters na lang siya. Okay? So, ayan, okay na yung ating, ano ba to? Illustration. So, let's proceed to solving. Okay? So, yan. Unang una sa lahat is, i-co-compute natin yung ganyan. Bakit? So, kasi kailangan nating malaman itong value ng delta x na to. Kailangan nating malaman yan. So, if, if this is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, that is 1, di ba? So, delta x plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4. Ang value ng delta x natin is equal to 0 0.2 meters. 0 0.2 meters to. So, kailangan niya natin mamaya yan sa formula. So, f is equal to kx. So, ito naman is, ah, uh, masasolve nito, yan, delta f is equal to k delta x. So, ang alam ko is, naituro na dapat to sa image na statics or dynamics. Hindi ko sure. So, dapat alam nyo to. So, F is equal to Kx. Yan. So, F is equal to Kx. Given yan. Nung tandaan nyo na to sa spring. So, magagamit nyo yan. So, meron yan. May K. May value tayo ng K. K is, uh, is said to be the spring constant. Okay? 
So, that will be 10.2. 10.2 times 0 0.8. So, the delta F will be 2.04 kilonewtons or 2,040 newtons. So, ano yung delta F na yan? Yan yung sinasabi natin, uh, ano ba to? Yung inilagay mo tension or yung force para maiba yung formation niya. Yan yung ito. Okay? Yan yung nilagay mong force. Pero hindi pa yan yung force na ito mismo ha. Meron pang iba dyan. Okay, next. F of S is equal to TC plus delta F. So, itong problem to is gagamitan mo lang ng static. So, hindi mo na kailangan ha, gamitan ng formula yung kanina. Kasi deformation and ano ba yun? Shearing stress lang naman yun. Ang binigay ko kanina. Pag nagsasolve ka lang naman ng ganito, uh, ganito lang yung gagawin mo. Parang gagamit ka lang ng geometry. And then, statics. So, F of S is equal to TC plus delta F. So, F of S is equal to 200 plus 2040 is equal to 2240. F of S. Okay? Next. Yan. Determine the force P acting on the speed. So, ito yun. Ito yung hinahanap natin. So, ayun. So, itong sinolve natin dito is, this is the force P acting on the speed. So, bakit naging yan yung pagod, no? So, unang-una sa lahat, meron kang nailagay dito initial tension na 200 newtons. And then, kung papansin ninyo is napatak ng ating spring. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is the force P acting on the spring, di ba? So, ang hinahanap dyan is yung force P acting on the spring, which is on the final output. So, final output tayo magbaba. So, meaning ito, yung initial niyang tension, na meron siyang tension na hawak na, mula nung hindi pa siya nagagalaw ng, ng dagdag na load sa BNB, meron na siyang initial tension na 200 newtons. So, nung nabatak siya, Diba, umurong to or na nahila tong ating spring. So, meron kang deflection dito or change in the in the distance. That will be, ito, 0.2 meters. And then, kailangan mong kunin yung ating additional spring, ah, spring constant. Additional force na okay. nagbigay na additional force, ah, yun. Yung additional force na yun is yung masasolve natin through the spring const constant and the change in the distance. So, okay, that is 2,040 newtons. Pag-add mo lang yung dalawa yung 200 plus 2,040. That will be 2,240 newtons. So, that is force P on the spring. Force on the spring, okay? Next is the force acting on each wire. So, kung titignan nyo, ang hanapin natin is force acting on each wire. Okay? So, kung papansin niyo, meron kang force dito. May force dito galing sa spring, di ba? That is 2, 2, 40. And then, pa, kung titignan niyo is mag-spread siya sa dalawang tension, dalawars yan, or cables, that, that will give you that tension, na, na ano siya ng dalawang araw. So, kukuha na natin ng free body diagram to. Ito magiging nga na. Tura. So, mag-joints ka sa point A. Okay, ito yung magiging itsura niya. 2, 2, 40. Ayan, 5, 4, 3. So, sinula ko na yung, ano niya, yung triangle niya. Triangle method tayo. 5, 4, and 3. So, ayan. And then, tension, tension. Bakit same? Kasi kung papansin nyo naman is same dito. They are all equal. And then, equal din yung, assume din na equal din yung uh, dagdag na force or load na nagbatak sa BNB. And then, same lang din ang distance dito. Same lang din ang distance dito. So, meaning, uh, the, two, the two wires have the same uh, force acting on each one. So, magano ko lang dito. Summation, forces, anong maganda? So, dahil horizontal yung given dito, mag summation forces horizontal tayo. So, summation forces horizontal is equal to 0. Negative 2 to 40 dahil pakaliwa. Plus, 2 times t, dalawa kasi yan, kaya 2 
50 times 4 over 5. Kasi horizontal lang yung hanap natin. So, yung horizontal lang yung gagamitin mo. 4 over 5. Okay? Then, simplify. T will be equal to 1,400 newtons. That will be your final answer number 2. Next is, uh, the value of the the value of each of the load P. Okay? Mali yung pagkakasabi ko. So, hanapin natin yung value ng P dito. So, dahil, ano, meron na tayong nailagay na 1,400 and then 1,400 dito. Yun na yung tension ni each where lahat yun pare-pareho na. 1,400, 1,400, 1,400, 1,400. So, magiging ganito yung diagram mo, FPD mo. So, P, pataas, and then may dalawang pababa na tension, which is 1,400 newtons. So, summation forces, vertical naman tayo, kasi yung given is pag ganito, and then yung hinahanap natin is vertically upward, okay? So, summation forces vertical tayo is equal to 0, where P is equal to 2T times 3 over 5. Then, meron kang value ng T, na 1,400. Palpak mo lang dito yun. 2 times 1,400 times 3 over 5. That will give an answer of 1,618 newtons. Final answer. So, ano lang? Kasiya ka talik. So, next meeting, uh, magbibigay lang ako ng um, sheet work. And then, after that, after that day, uh, Tuesday bukas, then the next day, Wednesday, I will be discussing here and moment diagram before tayo mag-start mag-discuss about flexural bending and shear. Okay? So, yun lang. Goodbye.